Hello everyone, welcome to my weird and wonderful world where I hope to bring you the my best music CD culture information, opinion, personal feelings, and, and all that. So the, think of this as a new mission statement, plus I want to talk about a few other little things here and there. This is kind of a, kind of a special episode. There's a few things I'm trying to do with this with this little episode here. It's not necessarily an episode, but you'll see what I mean. So yeah, the main focus, of course, is to try to bring you some better content. I'm going to be changing it up a little bit. I've already tried. To, I'm, I've already introduced one episode of my most stories. Which with the first episodes when I met a uh, couple of celebrities, you can check that story out right up, right, boop, right there. So check that out, and then not now, <laughs> not now, later, of course, check it later after this video is done. I want you to watch the whole video because there's some interesting stuff that might be sh sh coming up, and yeah, so. Also, to also reiterate that sometimes when I present well, with my other videos, I don't always have the complete collection of an artist. I do have a lot, a lot of CDs that I where I do pretty much almost like ninety nine percent have the collection of the artist as much as humanly possible, and you've seen that in some of my other videos, especially those like five six parters. Yeah, that's because I have a lot of the CDs of the artist. But there's going to be a lot of episodes. There's going to be maybe a five-minute episodes each where I'm going to per, pretty much going to show you only two of the CDs in the artist when, when, when in fact, they probably have more. There's a there's there's an artist I'm going to show you where I'm more, I only have 10 of the CDs, but they have 15 in their, in their discography. But I only have 10. I'm missing five. You know, there's another group that they have 25 albums in their in in their catalog, but I only have five albums in that. You know, of them, the most like the most important. And I tell you, I have some of those on you know, um, on order. So once I get like I have CDs on order when I'm able to afford. You, you, I got a story about that too coming up in this episode. Oh man, I have a lot to talk about. It's kind of yeah. So yeah, with this episode, with with this channel, okay, I'm the channel. My name is Morris Gocho. I want to reiterate that also again for people who haven't caught it in my other video. I think I only mentioned it one time in my uh, in my ZZ Top video that my name how you pronounce my last name is gotro it rhymes with gopro so me that's me morris gotro this is my channel i i live in moncton new brunswick i i've said that a few times in my videos already and and i love and i'm yeah i i it's for the love of music it's it's a passion of mine my favorite band of course you know is tool why not you know so you're gonna get the real deal here. If you want to watch some some personality with 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 flashy editing where they they zoom in and to try to you know to try to emphasize an important moment, I don't want to do that. I'm I don't know. Maybe eventually if I get maybe 200 subscribers. If I get 200 subscribers, I will think think about getting an editor but until then no I want you to get the real deal I want you to get to know a real human character rather than some 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 flim flam personality which a lot of them are I still watch their videos you know who doesn't want to be Mr. Beast you know he's awesome but but we're we're not that kind of you know this is not that type of channel um, I, I have a very strict, you know, criteria that I want to try to stick to and I hope to build an audience for. 
that's the main focus that I'm, you know, trying to. But like I said, I'm going to be, I'm going to be introducing the Mo stories and other type of videos. Hopefully, get the camera outside a little bit. You know, I need to get a phone. That's what I need to get. I would have gotten a phone, but this, a situation came up that, yeah, I might as well just get it out of the way now. I haven't. I'm still have. It's been nine weeks, nine weeks, and I'm having, still having trouble finding a roommate. You, th you think I, I would have found one by now, but no. Every time I get so close to getting one, some stupid technicality always denies it at the last second, and it's driving me mad. I'm paying for the whole place by myself. I'm just barely, just barely managing it. I have to eat at soup kitchens, which I do pretty much every day. I go to a soup kitchen every day. I bike to work every day, back and forth, you know. I had to waste money on a new bike because my other one became completely unreliable and everything. And so, so yeah, just to get a little thing, this get off my chest, I need to find a roommate. I'm going to double my effort, you know. And uh, I have to, I, I am seriously considering, you know, and I should have, even tonight, I could have did, did so tonight, but I have to, I'm considering getting a second job, you know. Yes, it would be nice if these videos would go viral somehow, you know, some miracle, and I, and I get monetized and everything, you know, that would be great, you know. But that's not the main focus of this channel. This is not why I'm doing this. It's really for my me expressing my love for music you know you gotta you know, i love music but yeah i gotta do something about this roommate thing before it gets out of hand you know <sighs> yeah i'm just barely just barely cutting it i don't know how much longer i can you know skate that thin ice so yeah so let's switch gears okay on a positive note, I'm, oh, I'm trip, I'm tributing so much of these episodes to my my inspirations for doing this in the first place, the trash talkers, of course, you know, first of all, to Behringer Bynes and Larry Cowan, who also goes by Hollywood Six, you know, Be Behringer Hollywood Six Bynes and Larry Smoke Dog. Uh, Smokey Ramirez Cowan, yeah, they are the they are the awesome host to the only channel I Patreon is the Trash Talkers. I like their selection. You know, you never know what they're gonna react to. I love every reaction they do. Even if I maybe don't even like the band that much, I'll still watch their reactions because I like them. I like, you know, they're really cool guys. I did a drawing that they have uh, that they have up on their on their their studio wall behind them that I did they 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 talked about it if you I they did some request of mine they did three requests that I did the first one was for uh for the good the the you know the the Marconi uh, good the bad and the ugly yeah you know and you know or whatever how you pronounce his name I tongue dude I think and then the second reaction they did was for was for Stevie Ray Vaughan doing a Jimi Hendrix Little Wing. The first two reactions were for blowing their minds. I wanted to blow their mind. But I couldn't really think of a third one to do so. So I wanted to give them a fun one for the third reaction. So I ended up giving them uh, so I ended up giving them a ministry Jesus built my hot rod and you can check out all three reactions right here I made a small little playlist of all three so check that out and yeah so a big shout out now hopefully as as I'm broadcasting this this is two days before they do their their one like the first Sunday of every month they do what they call spiral out Sunday where they actually are live they do a live broadcast where they can chat you know in real time with the with with their we, we call them the trash talkers tribe and I'm a trash I'm part of I'm a tribe member from the trash talkers 
So check them out. So so yeah, so I can't be there. I I work Sundays, you know, every Sunday. I work from Sunday Sunday every Sunday evening, well, Sunday to Thursday. I got Fridays and Saturdays off. If they could do something on Saturdays like, you know, spiral out Saturdays, it would have been awesome cuz I, then I would have been there live and I'd be able to chat. But unfortunately, I have to work when they're doing their live show, so I can't be there. So I, you know, I, I like to try to get into the chat a little bit, you know. Well, when they do their Tool Tuesdays or their MJ, MJK Tuesdays now, as it's called, and they since they used to be every Tuesday, but now they go every two weeks and everything. I know I'm rambling on about this, but they are important and they should be hopefully and this is kind of a, re a reminder to them that I hope they kind of give me a little shout out to this channel on their on their on their uh, on their live on their live spiral out Sunday this this Sunday in two days you know so that'd be you know that'd be great that would mean you know, so much to me so yeah check them out check out the you see it right be right kind of right behind uh uh smoke dog's head you, you see, it's kind of a, a skull with this the seven sided star and everything it is to commemorate the the 20th anniversary of my favorite album of all time lateralis so yeah they have i love watching their channel because they also have a picture of mine and in, in the background that i sent them and I also sent them the the Lateralis CD. There is also a video of that too, but you have to find that for yourself. <laughs> so anyway, to continue, I want to give you a quick little tour of my place, just just to kind of show you around here. So let's take the camera off and excuse the noise, but I'm also going to take off the uh, the microphone here. I want to go pick up the the stand so I can put it back on after. All right. So as you might have seen before, I got some uh, some artwork that I did on the wall and everything. I should try to explain some of that, but we'll we'll see. So yeah, we'll start off with the with the kiss stuff here. You know, this are these are just. Um, uh, colored photocopies of each of the covers of act on actual size of the CDs and these are little beads that I stuck on there you know in in, in strips to keep they get the, the right the, the kind of the right kiss thing there I drew the Iron Maiden of course had to be perfect you know everything was perfectly perfectly aligned and everything uh, the, there's the kiss army thing I did you know, so much glare on that because it's laminated, you know. And just some random design and the um, Motorhead Bad Magic cover thing that I kind of colorized myself. And that, a Brad, the Brad Pitt, of course, you know, from from one of my, my favorite, one of my favorite scenes in Fight Club, you know, where he asks, I want you to hit me as hard as you can. And then it pauses for a second. Well, that paused. That's the that's the picture. I kind of drew it by by hand, and you know this is on this was drawn hand drawn also on paper, but glued it onto a, a canvas. That was painted. I painted this and and stuff. But here, oh, there's my bed. Uh, yeah, I, I sleep right next door where I right next to where I do my my thing, my Joker posters. I got some insane clown posse stuff on the on the wall there. The two white masks that that I kind of take like I I use marker and I yeah I I made my own my own mask which you should have seen briefly when I did my uh <laughs> my uh insane clown posse video. So here's some posters I got. There's my looper poster. There, I gotta. Fi I'm fixing my uh, screen there for a second. Oh, there we go. And then, yeah, my Looper poster, my Carrie poster, and my uh, vampire 
Academy. The three of my favorite posters, and don't really ask me why, it's just because they were some of the very first posters I got from the movie theater when I worked there. I always loved that Looper poster. It, and I re, that's like my third favorite movie of all time. My second one being Snowpiercer with uh, with Chris Evans. If you haven't seen Snowpiercer, I freaking love that movie. It's awesome. Yeah, that Carrie poster. It doesn't. It, I like it because it doesn't have the name of the movie on it. It just says you will know her name. And I every time I walked down the hallway, that I was just. I couldn't like yeah that would catch my eye and I kept on looking at it so I was like when it would be when it became available to take home yeah I had to grab it and with the Vampire Academy one I just love the color of it it's just the green and everything it's just yeah it's really cool so anyway also I want to give you those are some of my CDs here you can see I have tons of CDs there Plus, under here, you can see there's a whole bunch of CDs. That's where all the Bell and Sebastians, the Rush, the Kiss, and the Weird Owls are, are all right there, which I've already gone through. There's a rack here that has, uh, that has a bunch of CDs, too. And on the other side of those Top Gun things, on the other side of the rack, there's another whole row of CDs. On the other side of this dresser here, there's a whole other thing of CDs. So, so I'm I'm planning on going through a lot of those CDs there as much as I as much as I can. It, my 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 it poster. I got some it stuff on the wall here, and that that's from a calendar. And most of that stuff is from uh. It's from the movie theater, of course, with the, the the cups and the toppers, and yeah, that's pretty much all from when I was working at the movie theater, and a, a couple of other Funko Pops. I don't have too many. I'm really happy with the 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 uh, yeah. I'm really happy with the Darth Vader one having that. Oh, one the Darth Vader. That yeah, that is a nice prize to get. That's probably my favorite. Yeah, my favorite one I have. I love that Iron Spider one because that's gold color. That's pretty cool too. So yeah, that's kind of my room there. I have a oh you can't see with that light there, but I got some a whole bunch of DVDs and that. There's a whole other row behind those ones. So uh, you you as you've seen before, I got the Kiss post um, Kiss flag. I got a Pink Floyd flag and stuff. So, and other, other, another flag that's behind that door that you can't see right now, but there is another flag there. And yeah, this is my, uh, my little station of where I, I, where I set up. Hopefully you can see that pretty good there. I can't see what you're seeing at the moment. I'm blocked from the screen. But yeah, that's my little, uh, my little cockpit as you would say. Yeah, and there's my there's my bed again and everything. So this is where I operate. This is where I do all my my evil plotting of the dominating the taking over the world. Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so I had to give you a little show of that. This is where I operate and everything. So it's a tiny bit messy. I do need to. I do need to kind of tidy up a little bit in here. But let's let's put this back to where it was and that, and then I can get back to uh, to doing some some more talking. I'm going to be putting the microphone back on the stand. Oh, sorry about the extra noise. I know it's going to make a little bit extra noise. There we go. So now, as I now uh, to finish off, I am going to give a couple of shout outs again. Again, another shout out to the Trash Talkers. Awesome guys, you know, checked out, check that out, and everything. I already sent you the link. You can go watch that. And go to Frank's Music if you're ever in Moncton, New Brunswick. You got to go to Frank's Music because th that's the place where I try to get most of my CDs. I have some CDs on order. 
and yeah once I and when I get them I will present them on my channel and like I said before also even though I don't have all the art the the complete collection of the artists what I do present there you know it will is it, I try to get the essentials I try to get the main main stuff you know so yes and now th thank you that's what I want to say now. Thank you all my my for the, at the moment I have 23 subscribers. So thank you every single subscribers. At least 6 of those are friends. So they kind of don't count. So it it's it's more it's more like 18 17 18 subscribers technically, but that's okay. I, I hopefully you know everything will go better and I will start getting some more subscribers and I will have a bigger audience I want to connect with with you you know so hopefully you're gonna come and find my channel and watch this stuff so everyone this concludes this episode uh, or this segment whatever you want to call it. it's not necessarily an episode it's not a part of the regular programming this is a special little appreciation and kind of slash mission statement to let you know you know what's going on in my life and that and that there's going to be so much more different kind of videos to show up um, yeah again also to reiterate I, I don't want to yeah well, no I'm not going to say it because I don't want to I don't want to go on a on a bad note I just I, I love doing this. I, I again, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for for joining me here. Please have a good day, night, evening, wherever you may be. Be safe. Take care, and I will see you on the flip side later, everyone.